I have been, guys. <laughs> I don't want him getting up off the floor and letting him lose. I have been. Hey! Yo! Hey, I was in school. Hey, I was in school. Yo! You want to hit this in it? I was in school. Yeah, they're start in about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit you. <laughs> As most of you know, last month was Black History Month. So most of us, but most of us, the struggle goes on. Sit back, relax, and enjoy an encore presentation of Slavery Still Exists, written by Richard Holmes. Richard, an inspiring actor and comedian. Richard is stressing over an audition that he's looking forward to performing, yet he has a creative block. Same problem. Oh, really? But what happened to you? <laughs> well, I'm a musician, and I had this really important audition for Earth, Wind, and Fire in the late 70s. Teresa! Teresa! <laughs> I had no idea what I could possibly play for these guys, and this dude walked up and gave me a hit of his weed, and oh boy, did the skies open up for me. I mean, I began to play better than I ever played before. Yo, yo, man. So what are you trying to tell me, man? You smoked a joint, and it made you, like, like super creative or something, stuff like that, right? Yes, that time for that, man. <laughs> oh, must be crazy. Well, folks, Richard what? doesn't know it. But he just entered into an entirely different realm. As an artist, we strive for creativity and will do just about anything to tap into that creative aspect of our soul. <coughs> 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 Ooh. 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 Richard entering his apartment with his new friend, the bomb. Come on in, bro. Oh, yeah. Pass that, yo. Come on. Nah, 
for the tricks of the white man. Did you know that drugs is just another form of slavery? Slavery? What the hell are you talking about, bro? What you mean what I'm talking about? I'm saying that if you think back, you were doing some real great and inspirational things, Rich. Now look, you're homeless. Your wife can't stand you. You even forgot about your career. I'm not saying you aren't trying, but you still got lots of work to do. You stayed in your fourth step, remember? Rena? How a guy met, how a guy you met introduced you to smoking weed. You said it yourself. Everything went down there from there. Yeah, you know, you're right about that. But how did smoking that joint, you know, screw my whole, screw my life up, man? I mean, things just like things twisted now, man. And I'm oh, and that guy that turned me on. He wasn't brother. He wasn't even white. So what are you saying about the white man playing on it? You all confused, man. This disease don't have no no color, man. Listen, man. Dig this. If you look back in your history, you'll notice a black man had always had a rough time in America. I mean, as far back as slavery, we weren't even considered humans. Mm -hmm. We were just property. Now we're in 2017, and we even had a black president. Yeah. Wow. Yo. Now I see where you're coming from, Lee. Right, now I see where you're coming from. And to go even deeper, you see, the white man sees our potential and knows what we can do if properly inspired. Mm. So they put drugs in the neighborhood of the minorities. This way, they can keep us in jails and programs. If we're so busy concentrating on getting the next fix, how can we become doctors, lawyers, great people of influence? Wow, you know, you make a lot of sense now, man. 
No, um, I made a decision, man. I, I heard of um, a program, right, called the Uncle. I mean, it's out in, I think it's in Bushwick or something like that. No, I heard of that place. Some of my sponsors went through there. That's a good spot. But uh, I heard it's a long-term treatment center. Yeah, it's a good spot. It's possible that by going there, it could help me, you know, you know, stay some things out, man. Put a little time in between, yeah. So, um, I'm going to give that a try, D-Boy. Don't give it a try, man. The try is to fail. Just act like Nike and do it, man. That sounds you know what good. Mean? Man. It sounds good, yo. Well, you know? well, I wish you luck in the program, Rich. Yeah, man. Well, and remember this, man, I'm about your wife. You gotta love yourself before you before you can love anybody else. Yeah, man. I know you miss her, but give her time. Yeah, I do miss her, but All right. I'm gonna take care of the program. Don't worry, I'll write you, bro. All right. Take it easy. Yeah. Act four. Six months later, we find Rich's wife sitting in her apartment, talking on the telephone to Richard, who is supposedly still a known for. Honey, I know you miss me. I miss you too, sweetie. I can't wait until next week when you come home. Okay, baby. I love you too. Bye-bye. Miss you. Was that Richard on the phone again, baby? Yeah, he's coming home next week, and I've decided to really try and work things out with him. After all, he's finally admitting he had a problem once again. Well, I always told him to stay focused on you, and I couldn't believe it's luck when you have someone as beautiful as you. And to tell you the truth, he doesn't deserve you. Now, Jody, I will not have you disrespecting my husband. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to be his best friend, and you're here like this me. All right, all right, Chef, look. Um, he's still my boy, and I ain't gonna change as long as you find out about us. As a matter of fact, he's coming home in a week, so we might as well take advantage of every minute. Sometimes when the cards are stacked in a person's favor, all is well. So when they are, watch out. Richard is about to be tested beyond his wildest imagination. Boy, my baby sees I'm coming home next week. <laughs> oh, what did it? I missed it so much. I am so glad I'm not that same screw up I've been in the past. Man. I'm really going to change everything. She's going to be so proud of me. Oh, God, I can't wait to see her. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, honey, what are you doing home? I thought you weren't coming home till oh, next week. Baby, oh, look at her face. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> baby, I just missed you. You know, um, I couldn't stay away from you any longer, you know. And I remember, you know, we got to do a little bump and grind. <laughs> ah, no, I just like that, baby. You know? So, you know, wait, um, wow. I've got, like, so much to tell you, baby. Hey, baby, who you calling? Uh... Jody, you know, you remember him. While I was in the program, he sent me up all these cards, you know, telling me to get well soon and all that. He even sent me cash while I was in there, you know. Isn't he great? Wow. Best friends are so hard to find, man. They really, oh my goodness. No, baby, put that phone down. Let's go in the bathroom, you know how I like it. Ooh. Wow, that sounds close. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds extremely close. That sounds very close. It's, it's, I got down the right number. Wait, maybe I dialed the wrong number. Oh, here the key number is looking for. Town. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at the 
that dragon. Hey, what up, what's going on with you? You look real good, sweetie. Thank you. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. What'll be tonight? Vinny, Johnny Walker, come on. No, no, I ain't drinking no more. I got um, 11 months clean now, you know? I was away in the program and everything. And I, was, I was in the milk house, you know, who? With that drinking and stuff, so. Nah. I'm wow. out back. <laughs> Rich, you really changed, man. I'm proud of you. Let me ask you this, though. What brings you here? Uh, I was in the neighborhood and uh, having, having some problems at home, man. And, you know, I just needed some time to clear my head. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, but i tell you one thing. There is nothing in this world, man. I mean, there's nothing, nothing, nothing that can ever possibly make me, um, uh, oh, yeah. Well, Rich, that's a really good attitude to have. Just be drink careful. Again. I don't know I'm supposed to serve drinks, but I'm proud of the changes you made, but don't mess it up. <laughs> Thank you, Felicia. This is me and between heartache, beauty, and a little encouragement, Rich never had a chin. It's now, five hours later. Now, you know, he's like, holy crap. So he jumps up and he says, oh my goodness. I 
responsibility of being white for four minutes, and I hate you black people by his woman. He's defined by how he takes care of himself and his responsibility. So once you tell yourself that, you'll no, you no longer be a puppet to the system of oppression, and you'll break free of the chains of addiction. Oh, man, I don't know what, what, how did I get here, man? I don't know what happened, but get yourself together, man. You can't. Don't feel bad. You're not the first, and you definitely won't be the last. Yeah, I, I believe what you're saying. Hey, let me say what I gotta say. Man. I just... <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're saying, man. You know? Come on, man. Let's go, get some, help. Let's go get some help, man. You need a shower. You don't understand. Come on, man. I understand, bro. It's I understand. impossible. I understand. It's impossible. Act 8. We find Richard sitting in a room full of people and his sponsor sharing about his experiences. Hello, everybody. My name is Gerard. I was, hello, how you doing? I was a slave to my addiction. I did whatever I had to do to get the next one. <clears throat> I was homeless with nowhere to go, but until I stopped, stopped using drugs and alcohol and began going to meetings, now I own my own business and have a beautiful family. Is there anyone here that's new and would like to introduce, to introduce themselves to NA? I see a couple of new faces out there. This is some kind of scary. No, it's not. It's not. Don't be shy. Come up. <laughs> this is just to help you commit to improving your life. It comes a time in everybody's life. When it uh, uh, coming back. I'm going to relapse. I'm Rich. Glad well, you made it here, brother. Uh, you just made it to the first and most important step towards a better life, Rich. Really? Welcome, you're free now. Thank you. Thank you. 